In this video, let's talk about how we can have multiple sheets inside our export. For this, we will be exporting a file that will have sheet for each user. And inside each of the sheet, we will have all the orders history for that specific user. So we can simply think of a sheet as an Excel report inside another Excel report. And following this thought, we need to create another export file and include that inside our main export file. So now let's do some code. The first thing we are going to need is a new export file. So I will go back to my terminal and I will run the command to create a new export file. And I will keep the name of the file as user sheet export. Next we need to make some changes or modification inside our main export file. So first thing I'm going to remove all the implementation of interfaces. Next I'm just going to keep the constructor method and I will be clearing all other methods. So we will get rid of all of them. Now we need to implement another interface that will allow us to have multiple sheets inside our export. The interface is called with multiple sheets. Let's implement that. And this interface has one method which we need to override. So let's copy paste that. This method expects us to return an array. So let's define a variable sheets, which will be an empty array. And what I'm going to do inside this method is I'm going to loop through each of the data, which represents a single user, and I will create a sheet. So the code will be something like this. So what I have done is I'm looping through each of the data, which represents a single user, and I'm appending the sheet inside the array. And in the end, we will return this array. Now let's define a few things inside our sheet file. First, I'm going to remove this from collection implementation and get rid of the collection method. There are a lot of interfaces and concern provided by this library. So I will be using another interface with title and this will allow us to define the title of our sheet. So let's implement that. And this interface has one method which we need to override. So let's copy paste that and define it. But before doing that, we need to have the constructor to receive the data. So let's define the constructor and a property name user. Also, let's go back to our user export and instead of passing the ID, I will pass in the user model. So now we need to define the title of our sheet and that is going to be the user name. So we are going to say return this user name. The next thing we need to do is define headings for our sheet. So I'm going to copy paste this function or method and we are also going to implement this interface. So what I've done is I have simply added headings based on our orders table. Next we need to define the query method which will be executed for each of the user and retrieve the orders for the specific user. So let's implement the from query interface and let's define the query method. The next thing that I'm going to do is define the map method. So we are not going to be showing every column including the created ad and updated ad inside our report, but instead we just want to show the basic information. So for that, let's first implement the method with mapping, the interface, sorry, and define the method map, which is going to return an array. Inside this method, I've just kept the basic information like the order ID, status and amount and notes of the order. There is also one more thing that I would like to change. So let's go to our controller. And instead of storing, I'm going to download the file because we don't want to store it on our storage, but instead downloading through the browser is a quicker way to see it. Now let's go to the browser and see our report. Now inside the report, we can now see that we have multiple sheets and each sheet refers to one single user. And inside we can see all the orders for that specific user. So that was all about the multiple sheets. So now you have learned how you can create multiple sheets in a single export file. In the next video, let's take a look at the customization of these columns.